to Disneyland. Ah! It's been 10 years and I'm not just going to Disney. I'm going to spooky Disney. I've never been this time of year. I'm so excited and I'm gonna take you with me. And if you don't like Disney, you should come along anyway for just like the treats and the vibes. <laughs> I need a pack still. Step one was do a whole bunch of research to figure out which hotel I was gonna stay at. But I really wanted the full Disney experience this year. Oh, this is post Disneyland hope talking to you right now, by the way. So if I was gonna have the full Disneyland experience, that meant staying in the park. Okay, nothing that crazy. Cause I know that you can like actually stay in the castle for like a million dollars a night. I just wanted a hotel that was connected to the park. So it made it really easy to come and go. Especially since I wanted to eat only Disneyland food for 48 hours straight. And I decided to go with Disney's Grant. The vibes just seemed really cool. <laughs> this was one of the most expensive hotel rooms I have ever gotten in my entire life. It was $600 a night for what looks to be a pretty like basic hotel room with two queen beds. This is not sponsored by the way at all. So like expectations were low, but hopes were high because of the price, you know? We're in the Uber on the way to the hotel and we were talking about checking in and no joke, I was like, how nice would it be if someday they just come up with like keyless entry into hotels? Like your phone that you booked the hotel on is your room key. I opened my Disneyland app and it literally says, check in here. And then once I checked in, a spot to unlock the door from your phone. Literally magic. The lobby of this hotel is beautiful. It has like Beauty and the Beast castle vibes kind of. <laughs> oh, and then there's this cute little area by the fireplace that you can just like sit and relax. And honestly, I was pleasantly surprised by this room. It's really like cute and homey. There were just like little touches of Disney here and there. Very subtle theming. And then we had this nice little balcony that opened up to the courtyard. The bathroom was super nice with this like LED lit mirror. It had everything we needed. I was pretty happy. And with that, it was time to get ready for the Oogie Boogie party. Okay, so I asked you guys a while back to guess what my costume was gonna be based on the wig, um, but I have really sad news about this wig. <laughs> Once I got to Disney, I realized, A, I never trimmed the lace off. B, I had no wig cap, bobby pins, hair elastics, anything to actually put it on. So unfortunately, this part of my costume didn't happen. Okay, here's another Another kind of clue, my cute ears. Got these on Etsy from a seller that makes them all kinds of different themes. But the best part, wait for it, they light up. And they're honestly so bright when it's dark. I'll show you. My theme is Ursula. <laughs> me and my friend Kelsey decided to go as a villain. So she was doing Maleficent and me Ursula. So the main part of my costume was this dress, which I am absolutely obsessed with. It's a 202 Matoshi. I don't know, I just had like villain vibes with the black lace and then the pretty crystals. I actually get pretty much all of my press on nails from a fellow hopeful that makes them called Stamped and Pressed. And these are probably some of my favorite nails I've ever had. When I'm on a ride or something with black light, they glow. It's so cool. So I had a few different like Pinterest Ursula makeup vibes that I found beforehand. And my assistant Anna actually found me this cute like Ursula themed makeup kit. I don't know, I feel like it turned out pretty cute. I'm not a makeup artist by any means, but we have the blue and purple vibes there. And then of course, I added some little crystals. Oh, another part of my costume that I loved, I had this little floatsome and jetsum. Leo took a bite of. As soon as I like ordered this and took it out of the package, he immediately thought it was for him, so. That's pretty much our final looks. I think it turned out really cute. And then I just wore like some sneakers, but Kelsey had the coolest shoes I have ever seen. Oh my gosh, why did I not know that those existed? Wait, how do you change the color? You, you click on the back. No way. Yes. Ah! Isn't that cool? <laughs> I need them. Okay, so by this point we were all ready, but very hungry. So we immediately went in and we kind of mapped out some of our most wanted food. And at the top of the list was this hot Cheetos mac and cheese cone from Cars. They have like a regular one, but for Halloween they were doing this special spicy Cheeto one. So this was the first thing that we had and it was so good. I'm gonna tear rate all of these things that we ate and this one immediately A. So good, but it wasn't quite enough to fill us both up. So we went across the street at Cars to Flo's Diner and we got the spicy chicken, which they have this chicken and fries normally, but the spicy one was also a Halloween special. This was some of the best chicken I have ever had in my whole life. Absolute S tier. <laughs> so we are starting off really strong and then it was time for a treat. 
out. So we went over to the Pixar Pier to Bing Bongs and I got this blue boba slushy, which uh, I'm gonna be honest was not my favorite. It was just so sugary. I'm gonna give that one like a C. I was not that impressed. And then to go with it, I got a Rice Krispie treat that was covered in candy. Once again, very good, but very sugary. <laughs> this is the kind of treat I feel like you could split with like six people. So I'm gonna give this one a B. Okay, so it was starting to get dark around this point, so we did like a fun little photo shoot. You can really see the ears glow in here. And then we met up with some of my YouTube friends, the Disney Insiders. They make content on all things Disneyland. And that was super fun. We went to the little like Villains Grove that they have set up during Halloween time, which was really cute. Just like a little LED light show. It was time for another treat. So over kind of near Pixar Pier, we found this pumpkin bunt cake. This was incredible. Okay, there's other treats that I really, really liked, but this one might be tied for my favorite. I'm gonna give this one S tier, it was so good. <laughs> and then it was time for the parade. So my friend Kelsey got us tickets to this special dessert party. And it's a bunch of tables lined up along the street with the perfect viewing area of the parade. And they give you this plate full of desserts. Most of the stuff is Nightmare Before Christmas themed. Like this Jack Skellington dirt and worms thing, so good. This weird little coconut roll thing, not my favorite. This thing looks cool, but it wasn't very memorable. Honestly. I do recommend the experience though because it was so nice to have like a real spot to sit and enjoy some treats and drinks while the parade went on day two So I did most of my shopping at Disney day one because I needed a day two outfit, you know So I got this Disney jersey. It's just a cute basic black But then I walked into a store and they had this one and I just thought it was so cute It has kind of like a subtle tie-dye the silver sparkly D the big sparkly Disneyland on the back and and then the cute little characters in front of the castle. Anyway, I thought this one would be fun to wear day two because night one was villains and then this one's just like cute, but it gets even better. Next to this t-shirt was a doggy one. Oh no, it's too small. I was only able to get one arm in. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't know your size. Okay, so I also picked up this little guy and initially I was gonna get him for Leo, but I feel like Leo would just wreck him immediately, but I did get Leo something else. So the first day was just California Adventure and this day, day two, is just Disneyland. We went straight for Indiana Jones, Pirates of the Caribbean, and then it was time for a snack. We went to the Hungry Bear restaurant and this was probably the best meal that I think we had the whole trip. I got this salad, which was honestly really good, but it's not the star of the meal, trust me. To drink, I got this pumpkin spice chai latte. It was really good. It was pretty sweet compared to like the pumpkin spice chai lattes that I just get back home. I would give it a B though. These onion rings, they put this red pepper cheese on them, which I think is like a Halloween special thing. So good. Best onion rings I've ever had. S tier. And then we also got the pumpkin churro funnel cake. This was absolutely incredible. <laughs> this thing is huge, but we ate the entire thing because it was that good. It was incredible. S tier. It was time for one of the things I was looking forward to the most about this trip. Galaxy's Edge, the Star Wars land. They opened this in like 2018 or 19. I'd never been because like I said, it's been a while since I've been to Disney and it exceeded all my expectations. It's huge. The shops, they have the Death Star out there, the characters walking around. The whole experience is absolutely phenomenal. I would go to Disneyland just to go hang out at Galaxy's Edge for a whole day again. But there was one experience at Galaxy's Edge that I was really, really looking forward to. And it's building my own droid. So it's this cute little workshop that you walk into and you like purchase whatever droid package you want. I think it was like $80. So they give you this little basket that says all of the different parts that you need and you go over to the conveyor belt and you pick out the head, the body, and the leg. Honestly, it was so hard to choose. There's so many different styles and colors, but I decided to go with this like white and red theme. And then you go over to the building station and put it all together. <laughs> Look how cute he is. And then it's time to activate it. They put it in this little thing and he turns on and he comes alive. I'm not gonna lie. I like teared up a little bit during this experience. It was so fun. And then they kind of walk you through how to control him. Look at how happy I am. Just proud mom. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to introducing him to Leo though. I have a new friend for us. You wanna meet him? <laughs> get him, Leo, get him. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him. <laughs> Up going to the can 
Valentina, which is so cute. And they even have this cute DJ robot. It was so fun. So they have drinks in there and then just some little like bar bites. Oh, we got this like chips and salsa thing and the foam is supposed to make your tongue numb. It didn't do anything to me, but maybe I didn't eat enough of it. I'll give all this stuff like a B. Mostly just because the experience was great. <laughs> okay, after Galaxy's Edge, it was definitely time for another snack. But right outside Haunted Mansion, they have a churro stand and they had a special Twix churro. So good. We already know that the Disneyland churros are amazing, but this Twix one, best tier. Went on a couple more rides. Oh my gosh. I've had a dream since I was little. I've only been to Disney like two or three times, but every time the Matterhorn ride is closed. So it has been my dream since childhood to go on this ride. So I finally got to live out this dream. This is pure happiness on my face. I'm probably the only person that's ever been this excited to ride this one, but it was so fun. Childhood dream come true. Okay, after those rides, it was time for dinner. Oh, this one might be tied for the best meal, actually. This was really good too. We went to the Carnation Cafe and kind of ordered a lot of food for this meal. I started out with this wedge salad, which was incredible. These bacon bits were so chunky. Oh my gosh, and then I got Walt's chili. So good. I'm gonna give this chili A tier. Oh, we got fried pickles as an appetizer, but ate it before anybody even thought to take a picture. If there was a tier above S tier, I would give it to them. But if you go to Disneyland, you have to get the fried pickles. And then for dessert, we got, I think this is like a peach pie cobbler. I don't really remember. It was good, but clearly not like that memorable. So I'll give this one a B. After this, we went on a whole bunch more rides, had a great time, but it was time for another snack. So of course we found another churro stand. This was another special Halloween churro. A couple rides later, it was time for another treat again. So we went to Tiana's place to get Mickey beignets. <laughs> These were so good. Covered in powdered sugar, so messy, but I have to give these ones an A. Okay, so here's my final food and treat tier. Overall, this was one of the best vacations of my whole life. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, hello, pardon the hoodie, but I just dyed my hair, but I haven't revealed the transformation yet, so I'm trying to keep it a secret still. But my friends, the insiders, just came out with a Disneyland snack guide. So if you are planning a Disney trip or you're even thinking about planning a Disney trip, they are giving it to the hopefuls for free. <laughs> so if you're interested in that Disneyland snack guide, which trust me you are, they've tried literally everything in the park. You can get it for free by clicking the link down in the description and you just have to put your email and I'll send it to you.